You're listening to Greater Good Radio Hawaii. Please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. Today's guest is Dennis Francis, president and publisher for the Star Bulletin and Midweek Newspapers. Dennis has more than two decades of experience in print media. When you got off of the airplane, was it kind of love at first sight? I mean, you get off and you're like, okay, warm weather. and you know, Oh, yeah, it was it was love at first sight. My, my residence at the time, I think I stayed at the the Ilakai Hotel for uh, the first month or two as part of the corporate package. Could so be speak. worse. Could be worse. And and uh, I just walked around. Well, I've never been to Hawaii, of course, but I walked around Waikiki and see all the palm trees and, and uh, the blue water. And, and You must have been shocked from the, the prices, though, being living right there in Waikiki coming from the mainland. Yeah, it was quite a price sticker shock. But, but you really do get through it, and you figure out ways to economize and... and either do without certain things that you were having before. But I ended up uh, buying a home, but it was certainly uh, far out uh, on the other side of the island. It was in uh, Makakilo, huh. uh, and that was before, I don't seem like I've been here that long, but that was before Waikeli and and Kapolei, so to speak, because there was just Makakilo when you wanted that to go. That was country then, Country, right? and right. it was all cane field, and uh, the cane would still burn, and the trucks would haul it away, and, and if you, when you lived... I feel like I'm talking about the 70s or something, but it wasn't that long ago. Uh, you lived in Makakilo, you had to go to the, the grocery store in Waipahu. What do you think is the hardest thing you had to overcome in doing business here in Hawaii? Probably uh, not making mistakes on mispronouncing things, you know, and and uh, because, you know, people will sense, you know, after you, over a certain amount of time that you had enough time to learn. And and if you, you still fumble on, on some of the, uh, the Hawaiian names or, or um, customs or those kind of things that you know you you might be on the outside looking in. I wanted to go back a little bit. You mentioned that you kind of stopped college for a bit because you were really interested in the media. Did you ever finish college? No, nope. I uh, didn't necessarily stop. I I dropped out. So it was uh, it was a decision I made at the time. Uh, it was easy when you're young. I mean, you're you're that age and you think that the world is is ready for you and um, uh, and I was earning good money because I was, like I said, I was working 70 hours a week, all that time and a half. But um, I loved what I was doing, and and I didn't feel like it was work, unlike uh, things that you did around the home, or whatever. Those other things were was really work. Where, but um, where did you learn your business sense then? Because you know, it seems like you're a natural leader, you know, a natural businessman. Made some mistakes, and uh, you know, I, I know it, it sounds corny to say school of hard knocks, but you know, you, you just have, uh, you do a lot of reading, uh, you, you read everything you can, and um, not necessarily, you know, there's technical books or those kind of things, but, but even things like back in the, you know, when I was starting out, uh, the, the old uh, In Search of Excellence by Tom Peters and, and, and those kinds of things, those business books, and you learn to apply uh, some of it, and, and a lot of it you ignore, because it's just not uh, practical, and and if you have any uh, any social skills at all or any uh, people sense, then you get a feel for uh, how things are being perceived and and go from there. What are some of the more common mistakes you see other business people doing that maybe you've done or maybe you haven't done that uh, you can give some advice on? I think uh, maybe uh, giving up on things a little too quickly. One of the things I learned uh, a long time ago because I experienced them where I went through some, I initiated because it was my bright idea to make some sort of major change in our business, whether it was a, a pricing action or, or a, a complete marketing uh, strategy difference, that um, the first week, the first month, the first two months, you know, people are coming into you with reports and, and you're looking at them and thinking, I wonder how much longer until I'm fired <laughs> uh, because this is obviously not working out to what I had anticipated. And, and actually, the first time I, I uh, did something like that, I was in a panic because, I, again, I was quite young of, of how wrong I was. And so I, I went to uh, my boss, who was the publisher of the newspaper at that time, and, and said, you know, this is really, really bad. And uh, he was quite patient, and he said, well, why do you think it's bad? And, and I went through. We, we spent the next couple of hours walking through. Here's all he wanted to walk me through all the, the components. And uh, and as I started doing that, I, I found that well, not everything is is bad. I guess there are some things that maybe 
you know, are, are coming around. And he, he pretty much uh, said, well, let's be patient and, and you need to, to let the market adjust. And let's, you know, I think you, you, might, you made the right call. And uh, sure enough, a month or two later, the whole thing came in what we had anticipated. And um, uh, if, if it would have been my decision at that time, and I wouldn't have had, you know, if he would have said, what do you want to do? I would have said, well, let's go back. Let's go back and do it the way we used to do it. And uh, that would obviously would have been a mistake. And, and those are the ways you, 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 you're certain to not grow and to not uh, get better if you just keep doing the things the way that they've always been. So. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.